Mike Unmuted, hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Rhino Review. Woo! Alright, so today we're going to be doing a Capture the Flag on Truth. This one's going to be a long and f potentially fun one. <laughs> so, what's new with me? Uh, I went to the Microsoft store yesterday and played in the 2v2. I went there last month as well for the FFA. Uh, I've won both the tournaments there so far. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I, I like. I think I won like 25-24 in the last game. Uh, yesterday so that was a lot of fun i recommend you guys all go out to the 4v4 ones and if you have one in your area you know mine's 20 minutes down the road i uh the person i teamed with that was uh, like a kid that i found there uh for the ffa i was like hey dude you want to do this with me he's like fuck yeah i do and so we had a lot of fun in the 2v2 um yeah not, not much else to talk about I, i'm gonna be tired again for this one uh, for this review because I went to bed like a little after midnight, probably closer to one, and just my body woke up at six and it's like, no, fuck you, you're getting up right now. <laughs> like, no body, please. Uh, so this is going to be a fun, interesting, another, like, I feel like the last one were quick because my body, like, I wanted to get over it, but it was still entertaining because I'm an asshole when I'm tired. So let's, let's, uh, let's get into this. <laughs> All right, my kids are so, we're going on Wily e. Coyote's point of view for our truth flag. Let's let's quickly talk about the start and why like him getting one shot isn't that bad. It's like a 50-50. Either they go bottom mid and you sh like that guy goes bottom mid or he goes out Eli. You can shoot him out Eli or you can look bottom mid and get shot from Eli, so it's kind of hard. Um maybe you can like check the mid side more, but I feel like if you're not looking street and the other guys looking like pink one to street, like you're you kind of fucked, right? So I don't like I like the idea to sh to look that way instead of looking at the middle of the map. And then if you get a call out or if you get shot from the middle of the map, that's when you turn. Starting off, strong play by Wiley. By the way, this is like Onyx level gameplay, like uh, high Onyx level gameplay. Uh, hello, controller, start the game. One second, just a broken controller. Doesn't say it's like disconnected, but it's disconnected. All right, let's call him dead right here. So let's watch this again. Like, a lot of the times in games, you'll be like, wow, I survived. I made a good play, right? But you you should really just consider yourself dead and be like, fuck, that's bad of me, right? So first of all, he's got window. Doesn't give a flying fuck about this guy. Because he wants to jump out of the guy pink three, which isn't, like, that bad. What's happening? My controller disconnected again. Holy Jesus. Hey, uh, if anyone from Noventic's in here. <laughs> but, but still, like, thrusting into the wall like this, I mean... There's just better thrust, like, it, this is a panic thrust right here. And, um, you'll see players like Shotzi, and I, I always reference him, because if it's possible in the game to do something, and you're not doing it, like, you can always look at it and be like, I could have played it better. So if you watch Shotzi, and you can be like, well, Shotzi wouldn't have fucked that up, right? Uh, you know, you can, you can always think about working on it. So here, he thrusted too early, like, he's coming down from his thrust, or from his jump, and he could thrust back, but he just... Panic thrust it into the wall, and then ended up staying alive because the other guy's terrible. Yeah, Claws, I need a new controller. But uh, like I, I don't need one, but I need one. <laughs> but over here, good shit. This is what I love from uh watching people's like games is that they. Should I have the uh, outlines turned on or not? What do you guys think? What's happening right now? Just hitting B. What do you guys think? Outlines or no outlines? But anyway, I like his play here. He was, uh, he's just holding down pink 2 really strong. He's letting his team fight anyone that goes pink 1 while killing anyone pink 2. Backs up. Messes up his grenade a little bit. I would like to see that go more towards pink street. But uh, so yeah, that kind of that's kind of what got him killed. If he goes more towards Pink Street, he has more time to go face jump Pink Three, uh, or he gets the free kill. So a little, a slight misplay in the grenade, but overall pretty strong gameplay so far. Trying to go through bottom mid, trying to rush his flag. I'd love to see this get pulled out. Uh, can go has to go Pink because he heard a thrust at Car. Um, maybe once you hear that thrust, I don't know if you guys heard it or how loud the game sound is for you guys, but you could clearly hear this guy thrust again from Car Door. So like once you hear that thrust, you have to like be able to make the decision. All right, I'm not gonna be able to pull this. Let's listen. Let's listen and watch. 
boom, thrusted. Right here, you have your thrust. You can just go back into car attic and say, all right, let's wait for my team to push in from peak. Let's hope, let's make sure that they're all stuck at car here and like stay in their flag as long as I can. But it looks like you're just gonna die here with this flag. Doing some good plays after the mistake. Like, that's what I love about Halo is like, you can fuck up and you can get out of it. Like you can make the most out of a bad situation, but why not make the best or the, the worst out of a great situation, right? It's better to make the worst out of a great situation than the best out of a bad situation. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. I love it. Look at me, the Ryan the Wise. I wanted a better title, but that, that one just sounds terrible. The Philosopher. There we go. Hi, Fox Kill. So normal pushing in pink too. Um, he could have played his life a little bit better, uh, focusing on staying alive more than getting kills more. But either plays fine, honestly. Free kill by Gandalf. What the fuck was that? All right, so I do not. I absolutely do not like that. All right, so when you're car two and there's got their car, if it's a free kill, it's a free kill. All right, don't get me wrong, but you should be fighting this guy at your own liberty. You should be saying like. You shouldn't be giving up control, or like control of the situation, because you're looking for the kill, because it's an easy kill. So here I'd like to see him shoot once, and then if you shoot this guy once, what's he going to do? He's going to be scared as fuck, right? He's just going to sit here and be like, uh, is he going to fight me more? Uh, should I like run up here? I can't sprint anymore because I want my shields back, because if he doesn't, if, uh, if Wily doesn't sprint, he gets his shields back. But So this guy can't sprint up to car 2. Like, you're just giving yourself so many options. But going no shields, you can get picked off from pink. You can get hit by a random nade, still be one shot. Like, I'd, I really don't like fighting to, like, almost the death. And that's exactly what happens. He ends up going down to the same guy he was fighting because he fought for so long. It's a great, that's a great, you know, situation where talking about it before it happens and have Like it. Like it. I love it. I'd like him to say to like hang out towards the bottom for a second because you have your teammate top of the base. He's probably gonna drop down. You still have your teammate kind of on the bottom, but he's not even looking at this guy back flag. But you get the kill, so it's all right. Like just in case that guy lifts and then falls back down, what are you gonna do from the top of the base? Oh, great play here. I don't care about the melee again. Making the worst of a great situation. Right here, he fought the guy bot top middle and then thrust it into a position where he wasn't getting looked at from top middle. Sure, it makes it harder to kill the guy pink too. He missed a melee because of it. But it was the idea that he like he puts himself in that position where he does damage to some guy and still puts himself in a position where he 1v1s a guy that's already weak. Hopefully he stays alive. Good dodge of a nade. Good awareness for the Eli kill. And dodges grenades. Great shit here from Wily. He is on fire. Oh! Jump up! Nice, go back to your pink three. Wow, this is a great play. He doesn't want to fight that guy. Oh my god, let's talk about it. Oh. <laughs> Alright, let's give some fucking... Let's give some claps. Let's give some props to Wiley Coyote here. He does not fight this guy literally right in front of him, pink three. Because there's absolutely no way this guy's going to die, right? Um, Looking across the map, no one's over there to kill him. Uh, if you put shots, he's just going to back up. You're going to put yourself in a more vulnerable position to the guys. Eli. Oh my god, let us watch this. Kappa, Kappa slash slash, right? Let's fucking... First of all, like, dodging all these grenades, killing the guy, dodging the second grenade, pink two. Jumps up to pink three. Sees two guys, sees a third guy, gets back. Jumps up, and does not fight the guy, pink three, that he clearly sees. Let me get back onto his point of view. Hello? Hello, game. What is happening? Alright, but anyway. There we go. And then he just kind of fucks up and forgets about the guy pink three. After that, you like you still have to worry about the guy pink three, but you just can't jump out at him. But still, great stuff right there. Messes it up a little bit after that, but fucking love it. Knows that guy at pink three died, gets to the base. This is scary. Looking across at the map. What's happening, right? This is this is a mistake that every single Halo player makes. Is hey, it looks like I can push into the base, so I'm gonna push into the base. When really his team's not set up. Here I'd like to see him down Pink Street. 
so that he's scaring off the players like from pushing pink, but at the same time backing up and waiting for his team to get in a position. Um, getting into this position, I predict that he's going to like either not do anything. Uh, spawns would flip. No, spawns are going to be bubble. They're all, they're always going to be bubble. This is CTF, even though like. But no, they're always going to spawn bubble here. It's just like, I feel like he's not going to do anything because the other players aren't going to be able to get into the base. See, he's getting repelled back. His teammates are going down. And he's not doing anything right now. And he goes down because he pushed too fast into the base. Yep. So that's a mistake that I feel like everyone makes. It's because they don't realize where their team's at. They don't take that half second and be like, alright, is my team coming with me or not? And you can say that's communication, it's matchmaking, it sucks, but really it's situational awareness and being able to tell where your teammates are at. I could tell by watching him, like, here, let's watch it again. Just watch it from his point of view. One of his teammates is dead. They get the kill. But where is that guy going to get the kill from? It's not going to be from pink one, bottom, mid, top, middle. I guess it's like top, middle. But, like, they're still not going to be in position to push. They're not going to be fast enough into the base here. They they didn't get those kills and be like, all right, we're push we're already pushing. They got the kills, and then they got another one. So those players are going to come off respawn and spawn in the base. As you spawn, so you see he spawns car door. The other guy spawns in the back of the base. That's just something for everyone to look out for more often. Like for is figuring out whether or not you can push. Um. And don't blame it on communication. You you can see it like I could see it before it was happening. And sure you can say I'm good at the game, but you know, it's just stuff to work on. It's it's stuff to work on that isn't shots, it's not like movement, it's just being able to tell where your team's at. Right there, that kinda sucks. He has pushed out pink side like almost the entire game. Now I'm not sure if that's bad, good, if he does it every game or what's going on, but I have noticed that he's push out pink like every single spawn. Alright, here I like this push though. This is one of those pushes that you're not leading your team. You're creating space for your team. This is such a good push actually. So not only do you have a guy top middle who is afraid of you, you have people who are coming off spawn that are afraid of you. So really it's a two on three because three of your teammates are going to be at your base. Two of their teammates are coming back. And you can help your team by killing this guy top middle. So really it's like a four on two, kind of. Like a three and a half on these two guys, Eli and Matt. Watch this. Alright, so Mark's going back to his base. Eli Wiley Coyote's helping, I mean, his team kind of blew it right there. But, but look, now he's like, even if his team blows it, he's still in such a great position. Finds the guy, gets the free kill, and then ends up going down. But still, he brought the entire team back. Like, that was such a great push from Wiley Coyote. Now, if his team just fought, like, if they cap it, like, that's his team's fault. Like, he did everything he possibly could. Yeah, flag got returned. That was so great. I've, I'm loving this gameplay from Riley right now. Right, so one guy goes down, two guys go down. He notices his team's kind of winning pink side. So if he can help get one more kill... Yeah, he's not going to be able to. So this is a dead flag run. He notices that. He's going to be a little bit late getting in the toilet. But plays it well enough. Gets up top. I think he needs to drop eventually. Yeah, needs to drop there. You can hear uh, shots coming in from pink side. So that guy's probably going to come back to the base. So you sit up there for as long as you can. Then when you feel like you need to drop, you drop. Because that's when the guy basement's going to stop. Like, stop looking at you. God. But I do love this play like these plays from Wiley. But the only thing is that he hasn't pushed car side once. Let's see, his team's not his team's pushing pink side. Maybe let's see if he watches car side this time. Missing the grenade, missing the grenade again. A little unfortunate. Needs to work on that. I like to I like to throw these grenades. Uh, if you want to hit top middle, you gotta stand still and throw them. Uh, like putting the uh, like putting momentum on the grenades before you throw it leads to some bad things. You'll overshoot it or something. But yeah. What you want to do is you want to lightly throw it, like stand still and throw it, so it bounces and it doesn't go far. It'll bounce, land right here. But uh, he he ended up going forward and to the side, and his, he made it hard for himself. Trying to stay alive from Cardor. Not bad. Got a little bit too weak before staying alive in the base. Team clutch is up, though. Damn. Alright, so... Right there, he knows where the last guy's at. There were two dead. God, I hate when I hit Y and it switches. 
Look at that. I don't want to watch Gandalf. There we go. But he, three players were dead. He heard the shots from uh, Pink 3. So he knew where to go. But he's pushed Pink every time he spawned, if, if possible. So that's something to look out for. It hasn't been, like, bad. Again, just great plays coming out from him. Could have shot him a little bit earlier. Yeah, once he gets into, the, like, right here is when you want to shoot him. Because he can't go anywhere to stay alive. Ends up being a little late. But, uh, still, just overall a great idea. Great play. Loses the battle. Who cares? Still, like, he's still putting so much pressure on the enemy. Team. Like, even though he has 10 kills, I would say he's probably playing the best on his team. Like, easily. Wog might be playing the best in the game, though, with 16 kills right now. Duff spawns car, pushes car. No! Absolutely not. 100% no fuck you for making this play. Everyone get this in your head that this guy is an idiot for making this play. If he does not back up in the next half second, he's fucked. I don't care if he makes a play bottom of the base, does some weird ass shit. This is bad. Okay. Okay, three, two, one. Whoop! He's dead from every single angle. Right? Every angle. So right there, you want to sit in bubble, make sure they don't push out pink, have four of your guys spawn killing four of their guys in their base. And that's how you win that fight. Damn, my stomach hurts. I like this play. Pushing back into the base. God, I am really not feeling good though. Blue flag taken. Red flag taken. Red carrier spot. So for the most part we're just gonna let this game finish out. Like I am not feeling good. <laughs> Great plays, yada yada yada. I like how he left the guy in the bubble. He's to stay on the flag recov. Has to stay on the flag recov there. You like you have to like fight while jumping off the flag and thrusting back on the flag. But there, you kind of just fought while not on the flag recov. Uh, disaster of a clutch play right there. There you go. That's the grenade. Love that grenade. Need to thrust back out. The player's dead. You know, one's in their cardic. One's roaming around somewhere. I would like him to fight more. Fight more while not dying. Him. Zero to zero, five minutes in. Woo! Oh no, his teammate got back smacked by a camel guy. Oh, that's not how you do that jump. That camel guy. Not winning that 1v1 is kind of bad. Like he has, he has help from teammates coming off spawn, so there's only so many places Eli can go. So if you back up and make that fight like longer, then you're going to end up winning it, most likely. Because you know where he's going, but he doesn't know where you're going. If anybody has any questions with that, like make sure that I bring it up after the game. Like of what I was just saying. That blows. Right here, I'd like to see him play to where he stops moving when he sees the guy. Uh, so you come into car door, you go into flag, you stop as you see him. So that if anyone's pink attic or if anyone's car attic like he was, you don't get shot by him. That's how I like pushing into bases and pushing into places where there could be multiple. So, for instance, if you're going up to car two, you want to go up to a spot where you can see the opposing, like one opposing player, and then you kind of back down. Uh, if there's a guy car two, you want to come up to here and fight that player, and then back down. If you come up to like here, you're in a lot of trouble. There's grenades that are going to hit you, and there's team shots that are going to happen to where you can't back down as early as you want to. That's a, a slight change out of like the scene from him. Very good play here, staying alive. Love that play. Jumps up to dodge a grenade. 
staying alive. Great, great stuff, great stuff. I like how he's looking for spawners instead of that guy pink too. That guy ends up killing him, looking for easy kills. Matt's lagging all over the place. Mike should be able to put this flag in. That was a great play by Coyote, making sure no one just always and puts uh, put shots on him. I mean, like, all right, this is exactly what I mean. Like, his play was so good. I mean, it's it's a standard play, right? But it's so crucial to the game that he stopped anyone from OEing. That not winning that battle like is like is nothing compared to like making sure that the flag goes in there. I mean, sure it matters, but like it's not like being able to recognize what you're supposed to do in that situation is much more important than winning like a, a random ass battle like that. This should be a counter. Three dead, four dead. Let's get that flag out. Pink. Yeah, boy. Reload the flag or reload your pistol now. Nope. If you reload your pistol, you like, yeah. All right, let's talk about that. So when you sprint to, and you pick up the flag, you have to hold the the B button for like half a second in order to pick up the flag. And doing so, you start reloading instantly. So you lose your Spartan charge. But if you, so you start running, you like you'll run it def like noticeably slower. So if you throw the flag, uh, and reload and then start sprinting, while you're sprinting, you can. You can, can maintain sprinting while picking up the flag. So that's huge. You need to reload everyone. You need to reload your pistol when you run the flag. It makes it so much faster. If you absolutely can't reload your pistol, make sure that you slide because you you won't lose uh, as much momentum if you slide and pick up the flag and jump. And stuff. But that's like so crucial to to flag running. Oh, cancel it once he touches it. They should be able to win this. Oh no. Disaster. So yeah, the reason that flag got recovered there is simply because he didn't reload his pistol. Like he ran it just a little bit slower, so that guy got into the base, and he ends up not winning the fights because he was just that little bit slower, right? <laughs> if you have noticed though, he's gone out pink every single time he spawned. I'm gonna focus on bubble here though, so this is good. All right, I've seen why he goes pink every time now. Ah, cab. Needs to take a little bit less damage. I'd have liked him see to see him only get shot twice instead of three times. Because he got shot three times, I feel like he died right there. Two minutes left. <laughs> Red flag taken. That was there's a guy behind him, but I like how he does doesn't look for him. Leaves him, knows he's getting chased, but doesn't give a flying fuck until now, where he turns around and surprises the fuck out of him. Lovely play, Wiley. Lovely, lovely play. Going for the recub now. Boom, sitting on it. Gets the kill. Thrust back out. He should be fighting to the death. He should be afraid of someone being like dropping on him or something. But no one drops on him for some reason. Ah, unfortunate. Uh, losing a couple of battles here and there where he doesn't really need, like, he shouldn't be losing, especially with players of this caliber. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like his movement and positioning is like, something he's excelling on. Like, his, uh, situational awareness for fight, like, for, for individual fights has been great. Notice, notice how he's moving away from lifts here, because that's where the top, the guy top red could drop. I don't like him going to toilet, because that's where the grenade could be. That's where it was. That could be, like, hindsight but you know but still like I like the way that he's been playing this game he's just been losing a couple of one-on-one -on -one battles that he should be winning great grenades here oh my goodness everyone look at these grenades get some right this time yeah right alpha like pushing in from car door after you get kills top middle is like seems like the logical play, but it just depends on when you get those kills. If you get the kill and you instantly sprint, that's okay. But if you get those kills, if you get one kill and then two seconds later you get another, and then you reload your gun and like meander your meander your way to their base, it's not gonna end up working out. I don't mind that push. He's giving he's giving himself a chance to end up pulling the flag. I think that was fine.
Love it. Look at his look at his um, ability to get away. Like you can tell that's what he's focusing on this game. He's not focusing on his shot. He's just clearly not focusing on his shot. He's just focused on like what he can do for his team and what he can uh, get away with. I love it. I love this watching this gameplay. Team's pushing in. Jumps in from top middle. Gets one. Gets two. Stays alive long enough. Oh, turns away. Stays alive. His team is able to run the flag. He gets it out of like this. Maybe seem go pink attic there. But this seems to be fine. No! No! Rip. Fucking beat it, guys. Monka S in the chats, everyone. Monka S is... No, 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 not toilet. Uh, that's so risky. Punch! Ah! <laughs> Blue flag taken. Red flag taken. Mm, again, a little bit of like. Fighting one on one is where he fucks up a little bit, but still. You know, I if anyone can forgive it, fuck, that sucks. I can, you know. That should be game. Alright, everyone. So, if you guys have any questions, make sure to ask in the chat. If you guys want me to explain the... Uh, Whatever the fuck I was talking about earlier, I completely forget already. Dang, let me know. What tips do you have for Slayer and matching? I don't know. Like, kind of just stat a little bit more than normal. Uh, you can block spawns, like, you can block spawns more often than not. But I would say just focus on your own stats and your own kills. Like, don't, don't try to help too much. Like if you you can make the game easier on your opponent, like on your team by getting freer kills. Like that's what I would recommend. Can you reiterate the point you mentioned earlier? God, I forgot it already. Oh, we're just gonna run through. Hey, we got a snarf gaming with a sub. Thanks a lot, friend. Oh, what what was I talking about? I I already forgot what I was saying. How do you submit a gameplay again? Uh, I will. I'm linking it in the chat. Uh, I don't know how the YouTube people are gonna do it. I might be able to link it to YouTube. I probably I'll probably forget though. Down the four minute mark. Extended the fight in his base. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I remember now. Haha, -ha, good, good stuff. Mates you? I don't know. Can you explain why he should have reloaded again? It takes longer to, p it doesn't take longer to pick up the flag. You lose your momentum when you're running the flag. So think about it. You're running the flag. You hit B to, you hit B to pick up the flag. You stop sprinting because you start reloading and then you pick up the flag. But if you reload your pistol after you throw the flag and before you land, you s you start sprinting again. And as you're picking up the flag, you don't stop to reload. Let's go back to that flag run if we can. Uh, I don't remember what it was specifically. Let's just hold forward. So I'm gonna talk about if I can if I also can spot the uh, the base fight that we were talking about. I'm gonna talk about that where. You should be able to win the one. Yes, here it is. No, no, it's not. Yes, yes, it is. All right. So let's talk about this base fight. 
Yeah, JR, JR Alpha. So when you're running the flag, you th you're on Eli. You jump and throw it to pink one, and you're gonna you're gonna start sprinting again when you hit the ground, right? You can't start sprinting before you hit the ground, because I mean you're just falling, right? So you reload while you're in midair, and then you start sprinting again as you hit the ground. Um, that that little thing is just so instrumental, or else you just keep losing your momentum every time that you go to run the flag. Okay, so guys coming into the base gets the back smack on the flag guy. So your teammate is coming off for respawn in six seconds, right? Five, four, three, two, one. So right now, your teammate just came off spawn in bubble. So that means that this guy can never go out car door, and he probably can't go out front. And where he's positioned, he's never going to go toilet or lift, right? So your teammate can possibly push in car door, so your opponent has to be afraid of car door. That means if you shoot this guy a little bit, don't don't push forward here. If you shoot this guy a little bit and then drop front your base and go pink side and like go out to Eli, your teammate can push in from bubble, or at least your opponent can be afraid of it. So you should be able to win this this fight if you prolong it. And then if your teammate pushes in from bubble, you can go back up to pink two, and your teammate should be able to win that fight because again he's scared of you. So you can leave him to get that one on one, and you can push up to help your teammates. Um, but the idea is you want to prolong this fight in your base if it's not an easy ass fight so that you can then end up getting the easier kill, right? But because he just like kind of fought him to the death, he ends up losing the fight. And losing the fight here is the worst thing, that you can do, obviously, right? But prolonging the fight just means that this guy's going to die as well as you have two teammates, two more teammates coming off spawn, and even though Mike didn't come back. Uh, you have two more teammates coming off spawn that are going to do this, like, that are going to have potential to do the same thing that I was talking about. See, see, if you jump out front base here, you got pink, your teammates are spawning in bubble, they're going to be able to push into the flag after you. Right? Um, Tort, Tort, I really don't have an answer for your question about how do you push on Plaza Strongholds. Um, that's all. That's honestly just a, a question you have to ask your team. You can send multiple into blue. You can overload soda to snipe side. I would just suggest not dropping bottom mid to go for the for the stronghold. But I like to focus um, any questions that I, that you guys have on this review specifically. Yeah. So I hope you, I hope I answered all your guys' questions. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I think I'm getting better. As I keep doing the reviews, which is kind of good. Uh, how do you keep sprinting when you get you're getting shot and you lose? You're getting shot and keep momentum. Uh, kind of misworded. Uh, if you want to keep momentum, like if you are trying to push into pink two or something and you get shot cross map and you lose your momentum, you have to stop sprinting. Like hit, like stop, like set your controller down for like a quarter of a second, and then start sprinting again. Uh, you'll get your momentum back instantly. They have to hit you again in the next like 0.5 seconds, or else you get full momentum. So like if you're running the flag, it's the same thing. Like you jump down here, you grab the flag here, you throw it to pink one, you start sprinting, you get shot, you stop, you sprint again. Not only do you dodge shots, but you like you get your momentum back, because like, they're gonna they're gonna be shooting and they're gonna be like, no. great great bullets by me. So they're they're gonna be like look continuously looking left. You throw it, you stop, start sprinting again. You'll get a little bit more momentum. So those are the I think that's uh, where I'm gonna call it, guys. Thanks everyone for hanging out with me. Thanks for all the questions. Honestly, you guys are great for asking the questions, making me explain things more in depth. If you got if I didn't do it great the first time, whew, I think I did pretty good for no sleep. So see you guys on Wednesday for the next review. I haven't picked the review I'm gonna do on Wednesday, so make sure to submit the. Uh, Submit your games to be reviewed. I posted it in the chat uh, on YouTube. Probably YouTube comments or Twitter. You can at me on Twitter at RyanoobHCS if you guys want to submit your games. Bye, everyone.